Hello everyone and welcome to this snack size video covering the border widget tool and how to create a border uh, window in Unreal Engine 4. Something similar to this. Okay, How do we actually do this? Well, let's get into it. Now the reason why I thought this would be a good video to make is because I see this question asked a lot and especially how to use the border tool to create a bordered window or some kind of border around something. So let's break this down and talk about how this does it what it's meant to be doing okay so as you can see here is an example of a finished border and I've got some text inside the border and the, ben the benefit of using border is is that you can make it so it takes an image like this rounded uh, blue square I've got here and I can change the size and scale of it and you can see it doesn't distort it or anything like that so I can create any kind of size I want there hit compile go back to my game and you can see it doesn't look distorted, doesn't look stretched, it looks fine, okay? That's the benefit of using the border tool, or using the border style setting anyway. So let's talk about how this works. I'm just going to um, hide this one, because uh, we're going to create a new one. So the border tool you'll find in the common section, but you can also just search for it and find the border tool. And we can drag that out into our canvas. Now when it comes into it, you'll see it's completely white. And by default, the border is just going to give you just a blank color. And I've used it quite a lot in my previous videos to make it just a blank color in the background. Um, but when you eventually get to releasing your game, you actually want to make a textured uh, background for your windows and things like that in your UI. So let's go through how this works. Now, I've got several examples uh, of different types of borders to show you. Um, so let's go through them. So with it selected, go over to the right hand side, you'll see appearance. And you can choose which brush it's using. At the moment it says none, so it's just using a brush color instead. And that's where you change the color of the thing you wish. So you can cancel that out. But let's say we want to use our blue window. So I'm going to go here and choose my border window. And you can see here, this is an image. Now, this, the downside to an image is that it stretches, okay, which is not what we want. So how do we get around this? Well. On the right hand side, you'll see draw as, and it says image. Click on this and change this to box. Now, you'll have margins. Now, margins will be set by default to zero. So this is where you want to change this value to match what you want to see here. Now, I'll go into it in a little bit, but let me just type in, for example, 0 0.2. And now you can see the image is now stretching, not, sorry, not stretching, and giving us the desired results. Let's talk about how these margins actually work, because this is where people get mostly confused on. Um, so this it works in relation to your image size. So my image size for this image is 128 by 128. Now, this is quite important because if you were, um, it, it, if you didn't pay, didn't pay attention to the image size, uh, you may find having some weird issues. So the issues you may find is, well, let me talk about how it works. So the margin here, 0 0.2, that means 0 0.2 of 128. So the original image, this, it's saying for the left-hand margin, okay, on this side of the screen, it's going to use 0 0.2 of 128, okay? So 20% of 128 in pixels is going to draw up to that and lock that to the left margin. Then on, it's going to do the same for the top, to the right, and to the bottom. So it's locking the side, left, bottom, and, and uh, yeah, or top and all that stuff. And then in the middle... It's because it's a box mode. It's going to draw whatever's in the middle left over and stretch it. Okay, this would be the part that it stretches. So if you had like a texture on here, it would stretch the texture. Now I'm going to make another video how to make more complicated window UI uh, with textures and things like that. Um, uh, that's another day. Uh, for now, we'll stick with just a simple border. So that is how you set up a basic border. Now we can use this for multiple things. So if I could do another one here, and this time I'm going to do a different image. So I'm going to change this to my border test 2, and you can see here, you can do different shapes in different corners, and it'd be fine. Now, if I were to scale this down below 0 0.2 of 128, so 20% of 128, you'll notice it gets blurry and weird and distorted, yeah? That's because you're trying to stretch it. You're clamping it but smaller size than it actually allowed to. So you get some weird distortion. So that matters. The biggest issue people find is that they don't make the image big enough. 
Okay, so make sure the image is of good size for your interface. So here you can see it working just fine, and we can use this for whatever we like. Now, there is one more thing we can have, and that is we can change the draw as here to border. Now, this I would recommend strongly against because it doesn't really work. The idea behind it is that it would take this and not draw the middle. Okay, so if I change that to border now, you can see it doesn't draw the middle now. Now, the idea behind this is good, except for the fact um, that it has weird artifacting issues that doesn't seem to be able to be fixed in Unreal Engine 4, and they haven't fixed it, and it has, it's been like this quite a long time. So, the doesn't really matter too much because Box will get the exact same result. Um, you, all you have to do is make sure your interface texture, which I've got here, has a see-through middle. Okay, so that would be the same as doing it as a border. Okay. So because the border doesn't actually do that distortion effect, we can add a new animation to this, and we can animate it to open up. So with this new animation, with it selected, go to new track and choose border canvas panel slot. And you choose this one because you're changing the data inside the slot canvas panel slot and you're changing the size of it. So with that as a track, we can go new track on this and choose layout data dot offsets. And then from here, you can expand it open. You see top, left, top, right and bottom. So we're going to drag our timeline out and we'll increase the bottom. Like so, so now it's animated. And you can combine other animations as well, so you can change like the render of it, so it fades in and does that. So let's do that quickly. So you'll find the render of it, the opacity of it, sorry. Uh, if we make a new track, and this time choose border, and go new track, and we'll choose uh, render opacity. And at the start, it's going to have a render opacity of zero. And then at 0.5 here, we'll change the opacity to one. So it does this fade in effect. Okay. And that brings us to the end of our border widget tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch videos like this before anyone else, head over to patreon.com forward slash RyanLaley, where a donation of just $1 will get access to videos before anyone else, as well as many other benefits such as Discord access and exclusive videos. Thank you so much for everyone who's been supporting me so far on Patreon and YouTube members. This would be possible without you guys, so thank you again so much. If you're watching this and you're yet to subscribe to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little notify bell. If you have any suggestions for content, leave a comment below, I'll be eager to see what you want to see next. Thank you everyone and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.